In this training video, we're going to look at linking two individual projects together, which are by themselves, they're not in a master project, they just happen to be two individual projects. The ones we're going to link is car one and car three. So I'm going to double click car one to have a quick look at it first. So I can see it's starting in January 01 and it's going on to February, the end of February. So I'm now going to link the mechanical task, which I'll just shade in this example. So I'll make it yellow. I'm going to link the, this mechanical task, the yellow one in car one, to the mechanical task within car three. Now, before I do this, I need to find out the, the path of where car three has already been saved. So I'm now going to find the path within car three and then I'll paste it into car one for the mechanical task. So that's what I'm about to do now. So I'm going to go to my car three. And again, it's the same duration, 27 days, and it's starting on the same date. So they're, they're identical start dates uh, and duration. So I can find the path of this project by going to the file tab under the info section, I can go for project information and choose advanced properties. I can go to general and I can now see the path of this project. So it's car three is telling me is the project and its location is in the C drive and it's in a couple of folders and the, the last folder is linking projects. So I'm going to copy this location and I'm using control C to copy it. I'm now going to cancel this. And I've now got the path now of car three. So I'm going to close it down for the time being. I'm still in car one now. I'm now going to go to the mechanical task within car one. I'm going to double click. I'm going to go to the predecessor section and I'm now going to form the link to car three. So sometimes you've got to put some kind of number in the ID and then fox it a little bit by taking the backspace. So the cursor is now flashing in the ID area. So sometimes I put a number in because sometimes the cursor doesn't appear within the ID column. All I'm now going to do is control V and paste. So now I've got the link from car three but now I've got to tell this link to actually go to car three so I'm going to do a follow the process forward slash and then I'm going to write in car three and the way it was saved was car space three another forward slash I'm going to tell it before the forward slash, I'm going to get rid of that backspace. You've also got to tell it the file extension. So I'm going to go .mpp. That's Microsoft Project. So you've got to tell it the, the actual name of the project, but it's got to also have its extension. So .mpp. Now, another forward slash. And I'm now going to put in 7. So that means it's going to link to task 7 within the CAR 3 project. If I click one line down, it now tells me I'm forming an external task link. So it knows that I'm going to another project. So that's what that's telling me. If I click OK, I can now see a grey task within car one. This means an external task link has now been created. Now this is going to car three. Now I can open up car three by actually following the grayed out task, which is just above the yellow shaded task. So I'm going to double click the grayed out mechanical task, which is the external task. And this now tells me I'm in car three, but car three is now saying to me, well, as of now, it hasn't accepted the link yet. So it's now saying, I need to update this project through the link between projects box, which now appeared. So I'm going to click on the mechanical and I can now accept all, I can now click all to accept all of them. 
So we can see there's no gray bar in here yet and no gray task. But as soon as we click all, and now close, we now have the link following through. So now car one and car three are now linked with a finish to start link. So we might say we might want the link to change. So we could go back to car one. So I'm, I'm going to go back to my car one. If I look at the links, I can now see I've got an external link on car one for the mechanical task, the yellow task. And I can see the external path that's been created. A bit more. We've got the path and now I've got the path. So it's linking to task seven of the car three project. Now I'm going to change this link to a start to start. So I'm going to minimize. I'm going to double click the mechanical task within car one. And I'm going to change it to a start to start. Okay. Now in the car one, the change has gone through straight away. I'm going to look at my car three. Car three has also changed straight away. That's because the project was open. If the car three project wasn't open and I'd have closed it, I'd have had to use the link between box again to update the link for the change because i'd left the car three project open in this particular example the link now has reflected so this shows how tasks can be linked between two individual projects using the external tasks and copying paths from one project to another project to link these tasks together and knowing that a grayed out task bar and grayed out information in the project means an external task and that means it's linked from another project. So this completes the demonstration on how to link external tasks together between two individual projects. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.